Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with you? Hey guys, welcome back to the Football Manager series. No leads. I'm not going to put Sunderland in it because we know what happened last time. But here we are at the start of the season with first game today. I'm only playing one game and you'll see why. Is against Portsmouth away. Gary Rowett's in charge, who I know is a good manager. Uh, I don't know if his last job were at Millwall in this game. It was. He got sacked. And now he's at Portsmouth and we're going to face him off. But before that, I've got a lot to show you. I was going to start by showing you pre-season, but now I've decided not to because you'll see the players we've brought in, but I'm going to show you them right now. Here we are. All of these I have done myself. I've had the full transfer window. Look at that. And then we've got a couple of outgoings, but I'm going to go through them all in order. Okay, so the first player we brought in on a free is uh, one of those guys. All the teams let go at the start. They let go of some youth players. This one was from Chelsea. Two stars, 18-year-old Armando Braha. He's got three and a half potential at the moment, which can grow a little bit more. He's two star at the moment, so could do a job in the first team, not going to at the moment. Uh, just a cheap, well, not cheap, a free player. The second one is a big one. Ludvoit Reese, we're just going to call him Reese, 20 years old, worth 1.5 million, four star player on loan from Barcelona. He can play midfield, he can play on the wing if needed, and he can play in uh, CDM, which is his best position. He played for Barcelona last season and he's come to us. Good signing, very fit player, he's got 16 natural fitness, good first touch, good passing, just an all-round good midfielder. The next player we have kept on loan is um, Lawrence Dibok. He was at his old team Leeds. Leeds have loaned him out again, 3.5 star rating. Can just do a job in the first team as left back. And yeah, he was here last season and he's going to stay for the next player is a lone one, a left midfielder who can literally play anywhere. Wing back, uh, left back, wing, which is probably his best position, I think. Uh, centre mid, CDM, Cam. It's um, Adam Lewis on loan from Liverpool, 20 years old, with 300k. Can grow and he's freestyle rain. Another loanee from Liverpool, one that probably is my regret of the transfer market. 18 year old Sepp van der Berg is definitely not going to be a starter, but he's a decent backup centre back for if any gets injured. For a two and a half star rating, which is just average for the first team, but definitely still can grow whilst he's on loan at us. Another lone player here, and when I looked at his face, I just thought. He's just a Sunderland player. Aidan Barlow from Man United on loan. Four star rating. Still can grow. He's probably going to be our uh, right midfielder, right winger. Uh, he can play on the left. He can play in the middle. So he is a, definitely a good attacking option. So another transfer that the club has made. I had no uh, choice over this. 20 years old. Uh, Ali Ko Kokiki. I don't know how you say it. It's from Burnley. Don't really have a, a say on him. Don't think I'll play much. He can go straight in the academy. Next is a player we actually paid for. Scott Fraser from Burton Albion. Cost 475k. Bang on his evaluation. Three and a half stars. Can grow to four. Attacking midfielder and can play in midfield along with the wings, but unconvincingly. Good at shooting, good all around. And yeah, another good player. Another player the club signed on a free, George Hunt, which is... Really not an impressive player at 14, one and a half star rating. At uh, 19, sorry. Only can play centre mid. So yeah, I don't like these signings the club's making. Another big one here, a lone player from Arsenal this time. I do like my lone players. Four star rating, Florian Balogun. Um, 19 years old, worth almost a million. He's probably going to be our starting striker. He was on loan at Colchester. I think he got top goal scorer in the League 2, the league below. We've brought him here to Sunderland. Like I said, four star, good all round, stats very fast and hopefully can score us a lot of goals. Another player we've paid for 225k under his evaluation as it was transfer listed, Connor Townsend. It was at my ball of a Grimsby at one point in his career. Three star rating, probably going to be a backup to Debock whilst he's here or maybe he could push in front of him because he did have a good pre-season. 
Um, can play wing back, can play uh, normal left back, which is probably going to be his position. And yeah, a permanent left back. Another player on a free here from Brighton. Um, Tom Hemed, he was on loan at Charlton, 33 years old, almost worth a million, uh, three and a half star rating. We've got two veteran strikers in Leon Clark and Hemed now. So hopefully these two can push each other to try and get Balogun out of the first team. Another player on a free here, which I actually did sign, a backup goalkeeper who played no games for uh, Fulham, and now he's come to Sunderland, Mangus Norman, uh, two and a half star play, uh, two and a half star rating, can build up to a three star. Uh, he's not going to be playing. Uh, yeah, just a backup. Another player the club signed. This one's a little bit better. 19 years old, four star potential. Morgan Boyce from Liverpool, who probably got released. And yeah, he could actually stand a chance of getting in the team. And finally, the big one. The one that cost us 1.8 million above his evaluation. He's only three stars as well. He can still grow a bit. 22-year-old Josh Emmanuel from Bolton. Give them a bit of money. You know the struggle in the down in League 2 now. This guy I was a fan of when I was scouting him. He's, he doesn't look the greatest, but... Uh, I know I paid a lot of money, but I had a lot left, and it was on deadline day. Maybe a panic buy, hopefully not American. Just, just we needed a new right back. I know O Nine's a highly rated player for Sunderland. I think he's actually the captain, who he comes in the team over. But yeah, we're rebuilding the squad how I want it. Now for some of the outgoings, we got rid of a, a striker to Fulham's academy. They wanted him. I don't know how much they paid, like 25k, I think it was. For Trevor Elliott. We let go of one of our academy players, 21 year old Ahmed uh, Abad, I'm not even going to attempt it actually, to uh, Airmis, and that name isn't even any better. We got rid of one of our CDMs here in Conor McLaughlin. He was just out of the team a bit. He's gone to Charlton, I think they're in our league now. Or well, they might be in the league above. Yeah, we had 09, we brought in Emmanuel, so we didn't need three right backs, so I sold him on four. I think it was 160k. The big outgoing here, George Dobson, who was a four-star player, one of his highest rating. He wanted a challenge, he wanted out, so we have sold him for 1.9 because we couldn't get his evaluation because he transfer listed himself, and he has gone to Stoke City. We've sent out this guy, Elliot Embleton, he was on loan at my Grimsby, again, mentioning them. Um, he's gone on loan to Ebbsfleet, who I think must be in League 2 because he's far better than the National League, this guy. But if he has gone there, hopefully he can pick up some experience. Another player going out on loan to Torquay, I think they are in the National League, is Benjamin Kimpokia. I think he is a, a, what do you call it, a youth player who came in from IK Sirius before I came. He can play on the wings and he can play up front and hopefully he can get some experience. The final player we've sold, 300k we got for him, he's gone to Charlton with McLaughlin, it's Will Grigg. He's not on fire anymore, well, especially not at Sunderland, hope he isn't on fire for Charlton. And yeah, because we've got loads of strikers coming in through the doors. I know he's younger than them, but he just won't get in near my team. So, as for pre-season, as I take a drink, uh, we actually did pretty well. We played uh, AA Genk, who are like a European team, and we beat them 4-3. Connor Townsend, Scott Fraser, Tom Hemed, and Grant Ledbitter off the bench getting a goal as they scored two late on to give us the shakes and one early on just after Connor Townsend. The next game, we play Barcelona. Barcelona travel to the Stadium of Light. Don't ask me why. They actually brought the first team, Coutinho, De Jong and Messi getting the goals. To say it's Barcelona, we played pretty good to keep it 3-0. The next game we played at home to, uh, I don't know the second name of the French league, but they're from that, uh, against RC Lens. And we won 1-0. Florian Bal Balgoon getting a goal off the bench. Our youngster up front. And the final game we played against a higher team in Middlesbrough, the league above, and we lost 2-1, which isn't that bad. Probably could be there next season with Balgoon getting another goal and Asamba Longa getting two. With all that said, we are going to go into our first game of the season against Pompey with this team. McLaughlin in net, 0-9 stats over Emmanuel, who I'm probably going to bring off the bench. Flanagan and Lynch in centre-back with Connor Townsend on the left. Max Power and Reese in the midfield in CDM. What more on the right wing with Barlow in the middle and Lewis slots on the left as Scott Fraser is injured. And Balagoon starts up front 
with Tomah Hamed and Leon Clark on the bench. Leon Clark throwing a fit because I did bring in Tomah Hamed and he thinks he's been replaced. There's uh, Scott Fraser. He's going to recover soon enough. And this is the team we're going into the first game with. Hopefully get three points to start off the season. Same formation as we played at Leeds, but instead we're playing wing play and hopefully it can win. Come on, you black cats. Before we get into this first game, we have got this, which we are new to the Leasing.com trophy, which I'd probably say we've, we've got to be one of the favourites for this, the, the size of the club we are. Not drawn first. Can we be out the hat second? Uh, no. Grimsby's there. Can we get in Grimsby's group? Still going. There we are. We're in Doncaster and Port Vale. Are we going to get an under-23s team? Which one are we going to get? We've got Leeds. Oh, we cannot lose the Leeds Academy in the Leeson.com trophy. Oh, no. I wouldn't have wanted that. Leeds. We've got to be favourites for the group, but that is the game I want to win. I'm, I'm tempted to just put my full team against them. So here we are. Teams are warming up. This, my friends, may be one of the biggest games in the league. You never know. Portsmouth and Sunderland. I'm going to say are the biggest clubs in League One in this current season. The stature of them. Uh, Fratton Park versus Stadium of Light. Massive fan groups. Um, me and the assistant gaffer, Richard Keogh, who I brought in. Travelling all the way down to Fratton Park for the first game. Long travels. Hopefully that doesn't affect us in any way. As we try and win our first game. Tom Flanagan with a free kick. To Max Power. Gives it to Reese, who switches it over to Duncan Watmore. Puts it in the box. Balgoon's missed it. A key, a good player. Used to score against Grimsby a lot. Over the top to him. The one on one. Hopefully he can save this pretty wide. Another corner from Harness. He's put it in. It's come out to Roman Curtis. Morris, everyone's swiping at it. It's fallen to Morris. And we're 1 0 down on the coast against Portsmouth. Not the start we wanted to the season. Not at all. I mean, it is an away game. It's going to be hard against a good team. And we just never cleared it. We never cleared it. Lynch just taps it to Morris. And they are 1 0 throwing for them on this side. Hanstrup to close. Hanstrup whips it in. Harness has missed it. Lewis doesn't really get a confident head. It's fallen to Harness. I think that's come off the bar and McLaughlin saves. Okay, so we've made it to half time, a bit more unscathed. Reese apparently made the mistake that led to the goal. One of our better players who we've brought in on loan. I'm going to definitely say we're better than that. That was a horrific performance, even though it's a hard one and I can't be that aggressive with the team. I'm probably going to be tempted to put Emmanuel on over 09 just to get. Up and down the wing. Have we got any other defenders? What's this guy like? Almin Odzder. Mm, not really better than any of the players I've got on now. Maybe Aaron Lewis could do with being took off. He isn't the best at the moment. Still unfit. But we've got no other players. Maybe down the line I can switch him for a striker. I think that's what I'm going to do. Throwing for us here with Josh Emmanuel to Balagoon. Manuel whips it in, and Barlow has just put it wide. McGillaray to whip it up to Roman Curtis. Gets past Watmore. I want more from Watmore. Close. Cleared by Emmanuel. Up to Balagoon. Aiden Barlow. Can he put it over the top? He does. Balagoon's back on it. And Watmore has tackled him. Brought on Tom Hemed now. I want a goal, McLaughlin. Puts it up to no one. Hans Fripp just gets on it. Emmanuel has to make a tackle here. He doesn't because he passes it in field. Max Power trips up twice. Curtis, Power wins it back. Come on, we attack now. Reese over the top to Balagoon. Puts it through. No one runs on the end of it. Hemed's too slow. Emmanuel picks it up. Bit of lag here to Reese. Max Power. Tomar Hemed, Reese over the top, beautiful ball to Leon Clark. Can he score? He's hit it straight at McGillray. Throwing here for Bolton. To Naylor. To Morris. Close. Being the best player in the game, definitely. 
Bolton slows down, puts it into Curtis, who heads it close to Morris. Hits it from range, but he's missed. Five minutes of added time here. Max Powell whips the free kick in, and it's cleared. Can we make a chance of this? Josh Emmanuel with a beautiful touch. Where's he going to go? He's going to give it out wide to Tom Flanagan, the centre back upfield. Gives it to Balagon. Whips it in. Reese just passed in. That could have been a chance. Connor Townsend to Tom Flanagan. He's offside. He's offside. He's offside. No. <laughs> that was the chance. I thought we'd scored, but it's offside and that's going to be full time. They have had 19 shots, but I've got to say that isn't the worst performance in the world. Every time we come forward, we look like scoring. It ends in defeat here in our first game. Tom, that was disappointing. I'm going to say putting the result... Oh, they don't like that. Oh well. It's another team that lost on day one. Uh, the two places above us, though, in Colchester. They've moved up from the league below and they had Balagoon before us, so they might know how to play with him. But for this game, as you can see, I've made quite a few changes. Uh, we've gone to a different formation and we want to play possession in 5-2-1-2 uh, uh, because Tom Alhemed played well and we didn't really have much at the back. So we've gone with McLaughlin in there, Alim Ozturk in the defence with Flanagan and Lynch, wing backs of Emmanuel and Townsend with Reese and Power in midfield, Barlow in Cam, and Balagoon up top with Tomar Hemed who scored that offside goal. Hey, look at that, look at that, they've got Struich, is that Struich? They have Struich on loan from Leeds, and I was playing him in Leeds' first team and now he's on loan at Colchester. Okay, Alan Tozuk with the first highlight in the 30th minute, puts it forward to Balagoon and Struich clears. To Ozturk, to Reese, who's on a yellow, Max Power, Tom Ahmed, possession's going well, to Emmanuel, who turns his man and hits the post, and we can't get a rebound, so close. Just before half time, Max Power with the corner, gives it to Tom Ahmed, who heads it over. Half time, and although we've been dominating, we haven't put ourselves in the lead, and we need the results because we're in the relegation zone at the moment. So that would disappoint him. Dig deep. I'm not going to. Just slag my team off straight away. I haven't been in the door two minutes. Hopefully we can get a goal. Gherkin with the kick. What a funny name for a keeper, Gherkin. Barlow gets it. Aidan Barlow threads it through to Tom Ahmed, who just blasts it straight into the fans. Corner for Max Powell. It has to come now. Ten minutes to go. Doesn't even beat the first man, but Aidan Barlow's there. Gives it back to Power, who whips it and doesn't beat the first man again. Third time lucky. Max Power crosses it in, Tom Ahmed, it is first time, third time lucky, as Tom Ahmed gets his first goal of the season, he's scored again, it's his second goal, but this match actually count. Max Power, shocking crosses, but the last one he gets, no pressure on him, he finally does something good with it, as Tom Ahmed headed it into the side netting. Max Power with a free kick in the last couple of minutes, can we get another goal? Flanagan gives it back to Max Power. Around the corner, back to Flanagan, Aaron Lewis off the bench, to Hemed, oh beautiful ball over to Lynch who's forward from centre back, can't put it in, Jackson comes away, we can't, we can't concede, we can't concede, Senior to Hilton, he whips it forward and it's straight into McLaughlin's hands, Aaron Lewis coming forward, can we get a goal, oh it's beautiful to Leon Clark, it's a one on one and of course on Football Manager no one scores one on ones. That's full time. We have our first win as Sunderland boss 1 0. We had to grind for it against Colchester. Tom was disappointed. I'm going to say it was a let off, and they all agree with it. Finally, I've got them on my side. And guys, that is the end of the episode. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll play free games off screen as I usually do. And I'm not, it isn't on the screen, but we're in 14th place in the league. Got some work to do. We've only had two games though. And I will see you all in the next episode of the Football Manager Series. Thanks.